if you can stand up, it will be really appreciated because we want to honor the King of Kings and the Lord of Law for the day of remembrance that he has. And drop the light. Don't, don't put it on. All right? Keep the atmosphere the way it was. We want to celebrate God and give him thanks for a remembrance day that he has brought on to us by the Spirit. Do you understand that? Heaven has decided for you and I, cross point, today is remembrance day. And it's not us remembering God. It's God remembering us. You, you got to capture that. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? Say, I hear you. Say it again, I hear you. I'm going to come to seven and we're going to give a clap offering to the Lord and shout of praise. So I want you to warm up your hand. Tell your neighbor, get ready. If I'm too loud, don't worry about it. It's Remembrance Day for me. Come on in the back. Everybody begin to warm up. Hallelujah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, let's give a thanks and a clap offering to the Lord.
now. A shift, a shift, a shift. A shift now. I come out my hand. Hey, you come out your hand. Praise the Lord.
Jehovah. Praise the Lord, somebody. Thank you, Father. Just grab a seat for one minute. Children, stay here. Stay here. We're Worship team, you can be released. I keep, I keep you guys here. You guys stay here, right? Line up right there. No. Thank you, Father. Cross point, how are you doing? God is good. And all the time. I will ask everybody to sit down except the kids, all right? You guys can stay here. Okay, the, the little one probably can go down. You guys stay here, the, the, this top line. You guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, stay here. Everybody can go down, okay? Go down. Good job. Push back a little bit. Thank you, Father. God is good. And all the time. Just let everybody have a seat, please. Even in the back, sit down. Thank you. God is amazing. You guys are awesome, all right? You, you get those young guys dancing. That's a good thing. Come on, put your hand together for this amazing youth. I keep you here, right? And I want to let you know, we need your youth. We really do. These guys are old, right? <laughs> All right, you know, these guys, they're amazing, but they can be boring. You know what I'm saying? God, God, God. <laughs> we need some action from you guys. Coming, worshiping like that, Jesus loves it, and we love it too. Are you guys not enjoying this? I will read a couple of verses, and we're going to act it out. Are you ready? Good. I will just, as I'm reading the story, you begin to think in your mind what we're going to do, right? If uh, the projection can help me, I don't have my verses. First verse, thank you, Father. This is from 1 Kings 18, 1 to 2. This is not planned, okay? We're only ghosted people in this house. We just flow, right? We are just flowing, all right? And it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go, show thyself unto Ahab, and I will send the rain upon the earth. Second verse. And Elijah went, no, not, not second verse in that way, but yeah, second verse. And Elijah went and show, show himself unto Ahab. And there was a sore, painful, drought Deep famine in Samaria. Next portion of scripture. Um, go to my note for my sermon, not the praying point. 
Thank you, Lord. Aha, smarty. So forget about what I read, okay? Good. Now you're happy? Yes. Well, we can forget about that because it was, uh, yeah, here it is. Now, what have I done? Say David. That's not NIV. Yeah. King James, please. King James Version. Go back to it if you can. King James Version. Thank you. Go back to the other verse. Is there not a cause? Thank you. And David said, what have I done? Is there not a cause? Can you act that out? And let me give you the story, right? As David, little boy, forgotten in the field, Samuel, the prophet, come in town looking for a king. You know the story. His brothers were showcased, and they were not chosen. So finally, David showed up, got anointed. Now, Israel's have a war with the Philistines. They're fighting. The Philistines are so strong and so intimidated because of their champion, Goliath, that all the Israelites are hiding behind. They are running for their lives. Then one day, the father of David said, David, take some food and bring it to your brothers on the battlefield. So David show up on the battlefield, and he see all his brothers and all the army hiding in caves. And then he looked around and he saw a big giant called Goliath show up and say, Hey, Israel, I challenge you for 40 days and 40 nights. Bring on your champion. If he defeats me, me and my people will become your slaves. Build your highways, build your schools, and do your labors. But if I defeat them, you will become our slave. 40 days, nobody show up. Then here's little David bringing the lunchbox. And then he saw the sinner and said, hey, dude, what the heck is happening here? Who is this guy who is intimidating us? And his brother said, shh, close your mouth. You little David, you're good enough to take care of the little sheep of our father. You're in the wrong place. You're not trained for that. You get me now? Good. So David then turned to him and said, come on, guys, cool it down. Is there not a cause? You mean there's nothing that can move you to fight and risk your life and sacrifice? Is there not a cause? Next verse now. Not the next verse, but in my verses. And the Philistines said to David, now this is Goliath speaking. Am I a dog that you cometh to me with staffs or sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. Next. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the earth and to the beasts of the field. Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword and a spear and with a shield, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the army of Israel, whom that I defied. You know the story of Goliath and David? Okay, so play something for me. Drop the light a little bit so they don't get too intimidated by your eyes. Talk among yourself one minute, all right? Pray for them, pray for them. <laughs> pray for them. We can use the microphone, will be nice in case they're done. Okay, you get one minute left. Go 
got, you get the mics here, you can use. You can use the mics or you talk loud or something like that, all right? Hi. Hola. Now, David, go give this bread out to your brothers at the battlefield. Put the mic. We're hiding from Goliath. Okay. Okay. I am Goliath. If your God is so big, then why am I still here? Mm. Praise the Lord. Stay there, stay there. Can we put our hand together? Stay there, don't leave the video. Come on, clap hands. Now, stay there. Next verse, please. And David put his hand in his bag and took hence a stone and slang it and smote the Philistine in the forehead. And the stone sunk into the forehead and he fell upon his face on the earth. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. I don't know what Goliath you're fighting, but on Remembrance Day, your enemy, your Goliath, your challenges will not stand the course, but they will fall down before you face down. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody said, I hear you. I hear you. Shout and tell my Goliath is coming down. Is coming down. Face down. In Jesus' name. In Jesus Somebody name. give a shout to the Lord. Stand up. Now I want you to stand up on your feet. I want you to watch this, all right? Don't miss it. You don't want to miss this. When David showed up, Goliath said to David, I curse you by my gods. You know what Goliath just did? He just shifted the battle from the earth realm to the spirit. He just said, you know what Goliath? David, I am a giant. I can crush you. But I can tell you're not coming alone. I can feel it. He said, I'm invoking upon my gods, plural. He shifted the battle. You know what David said? David spoke back. Sometimes you have to speak back. Tell your neighbor you got to speak back. Yeah, sometimes you got to speak back. You got to speak back to reverse what was spoken against you. Are you hearing me, somebody? Shout with me, I have to speak back. To reverse what was spoken against me. So David said, hey, buddy. You come with sword and shield, but I come in the name of the Lord of hosts of Israel. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey. You know what David did? David just shifted. He said, here I'm out. God come in. That's all. I want you to make that mood with me. Come out and let God come in. Come on. Come out and introduce God to the battle. This is not your battle. It's not your battle. Come out of it and let God let come in. in. Come on, girls. Come on, show it. We come out of it and we let God in. 
Yeah, that's right. Come on, do it again. Let come out, come out of it, and put God in. Can we do that again one more time? You come out of it, and you put God in. Somebody do the same. Come out of, come out of it, put God in. 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 One more time. Come out, come out of it, put God in. Somebody shout, God is your battle. I'm coming out of it. It's all yours. Come on, give a praise to the Lord. Hey! Now, I'm going to show you how God took on. David was simply a distraction, not a warrior. Brother Kennedy, you're a physician. You understand physics. If I take a stone, come here, Goliath. <laughs> if I hit you like that, where are you falling back? Backwards. So what the heck are you falling down then? <laughs> Did you not read that in the scripture? Yeah. Yeah. Goliath fell down on his face. Even though the stone hit him in the head, yeah. he's supposed to go down like that. Yeah. But he came down, why? Because the real enemy of Goliath was not in front, was in the back. No, you didn't get me. You, you didn't get me. Somebody shout, the real enemy is in the back. I am just a distraction. So God can hit his enemy from the back. It's not the stone that makes him fall down. It is the heat of God from the back. Mara mandagala mandeya. Bam, fall down the floor. Boom. Go. Not my battle. I'm coming out of it. It's your battle. Somebody say, Oh God, it's not my battle. Come out, come out of it. I'm coming out. It's yours. That enemy, God is knocking it down from the back. He's falling before your feet in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, That's for me. I declare a victory over your life and your finances and your children. I proclaim restoration and restitution in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord somebody. The enemy is in the back. Are you ready to pray? Put my first prayer point now. Stand up, girl. We're going to pray this together. Hold your hands together. We're in this thing together. My prayer point now, flow around. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's been too many days. That's the one I want. Thank you, Lord. Are you ready to push? Yes. The Goliath need to be teared down because it's about time. God has called me this morning to release upon you the anointing of the rainmakers. Oh, yes. I said the rain makers. Lift up your right hand and say, Lord, anoint me with the anointing of the rain maker. I'm a rain maker to put an end to every drought and every famine and dryness in the name of Jesus. My verse, please. My verse. And it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah on the third year saying, go show yourself unto Ahab and I will send the rain. You know what that means? God said just because you show up today, I'm sending the rain. He didn't say go fight Ahab. He said go show yourself. Just go like that. I'm showing myself. Yeah, I'm here. In spirit, I'm here. In body, I'm here. In soul, I'm here. My faith is here. My spirit is here. Here I am, oh. I am present. 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 Oh, bring the rain. 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 Manga de lele, manga de lele, manga de lele, man 
Come on, raise up your voice. Rainmakers, begin to command the rain. Begin to command the rain. Begin to command the rain. Open your mouth. Begin to command the rain. 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 Don't tell me that. Pick it up. Pick it up.
eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes in this atmosphere. Under this commission in the name of Jesus. No more famine. No more drawness. Remember days has come for this house. I prophesy an awakening in the heart of this person. An awakening. An awakening in the spirit. Lift up your hand to him right now. You don't need to cover yourself. Let yourself be wet of the Holy Ghost. Just lift up your hand to him. It's raining in this place. You don't need an umbrella. You don't need to cover yourself. You don't need a shelter. Let this fresh rain fall upon you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the rain that refreshes. Mambundia. That's the rain that refresh. That awaken every dry places, every dryness, every crack. It's a rich rain. It's the rain of love. It's the rain of remembrance. Yeah. Yeah. Times of refreshing. It's like the water that are boiling. Rekindling passion. Rekindling fire. Rekindling fire. Rekindling love. Rekindling vision. Oh, oh, it's raining, raining. It's raining, 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 it's raining. The rain of awakening in the heart of the people. God come. He said, I've come to show you my love. To embrace you and to heal you. To restore you. No matter how far you thought you've been. I have come to gather you to myself, says the Lord. My heart is leaping. My heart is rejoicing. I'm dancing over you because you are my beloved and in you I'm well pleased. I'm making it rain upon you. A harvest is coming your way. An increase is coming your way. Restoration coming your way. A restitution is coming your way. I'm restoring your peace. I'm restoring your joy. I'm restoring your strength. I'm restoring your vision. That's why I'm making it rain upon you.
flowing this morning. Whatever it is you need this morning, oh. He is here for you today. Deliverance, healing, forgiveness, whatever it is that's hindering you today, get in. Get into the river of God. He says, I am calling you. I am calling you. He says, I'm going to remission it out. I'm going to remission it for you. Take a hold. Take a hold of the Spirit of God today. Say, this is mine. This is mine. The river is flowing. The river is flowing. The river is flowing today. The river is flowing. Take a hold. Take a hold today. Pull on it today. It's a day of visitation. I declare bondage is being set free right now in Jesus' name. I declare there is freedom. Chain links are breaking in Jesus' name. Right now, right now, breaking, breaking. Chain links are breaking. There is healing. There is healing. He says there are trees planted by the river. Leaves, leaves that will bring healing. Take a hold of the leaf today. Take what it is. Take what is yours. Your portion is in the river. Your portion is in the river this morning. Believe that he is here. He is here for you. Take your portion. Eat it. Eat it. You will find what you're looking for. And it's only in Christ. And he is the river this morning. Jesus is the river. I'm relocating you. I'm taking you from this pathway and I'm putting you on this one. He says, this is the way to go. He says, I am speaking to you from behind. I am saying, this is the way to go. If you hear him speaking to you today, change your way. Change your way. Reposition yourself. Get into the river. Flow with the river. Flow with the river. Flow. 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 Flow with the river today. atmosphere of his presence I don't have anything to say of course but just feel free if you want to stay in this atmosphere as they are ministering music I don't want singing I just want build up as the Holy Ghost leads you just lay down be here if you have programs to do we just release you 
ushers make sure the people living live quietly and let keep this atmosphere the way it is and may the Lord bless you richly we are in our prayer and fasting it's not over yet we are in the river he's taking us down in the river to us to bear fruit in season out of season in the river live whenever you feel like quietly quietly